And welcome back. It's Tuesday and that means we're talking about the hottest Hollywood headlines this morning. That's right. And last night was the big season premiere of Dancing with the Stars. That's right. The Karate Kid. He danced his way to the top spot while a radio man may need to <laughs> stay behind the mic. George Pinocchio has more from Los Angeles. This was really special uh, to be able to put out that performance and I was very confident with the choreography. Actor Ralph Macchio tops the judges first leaderboard with triple eights for the Foxtrot. One point behind him, actress Kirstie Alley, whose cha-cha landed her in second place. I wanted an eight slightly desperately and he said don't count on it and I was like no we have to go, I want an eight and then and now I want a nine. To go right into the dance was pretty much like jumping out of a plane but uh, I lo I'm, it was great. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Tied for third, actress Chelsea Kane and football star Heinz Ward, both with triple sevens. He's got a cute butt that moves really well, so <laughs> we like that. Uh, you're, I don't know. I don't see blush. I just see smile. No, that's a great compliment. Thank you. Tied for fifth, hip hop star Romeo and wrestling star Chris Jericho, who both scored 19. I don't care how happy you are, how good the chemistry is. If you don't have that technique. You can't be great, and we want to go for greatness. Exactly. Cheryl put together a great routine where there was some really good Jericho moments, like the jump and the clap and the, you know, the slide. That's that's who I am. Model Petra Nemkova is tied for seventh place with reality star Kendra Wilkinson. I was an elephant, and he had the job to turn me into a butterfly uh, with the grace. I need to do what's proper and do what's right. You know, I can't just go out in my own little world and be at the club. I have to do ballroom dancing. One point behind them, boxer Sugar Ray Leonard landed one place below them, with talk show host Wendy Williams and radio's Mike Catherwood at the bottom. I have the desire to, to improve, to make this wonderful lady proud of me, and uh, to go on. What happened? She's great talking. <laughs> but it's not that great dancing. If you analyze the entire cast, I'm probably the most like you. I don't have any Super Bowl rings. I've never been in a big time movie or on a big time TV show. I'm not a playmate or a supermodel. I'm just a dude. There are no eliminations this week. All 11 couples get to come back and dance again next week before anyone goes home. In Los Angeles, George Pinocchio for ABC News. All right, and as always, Penelope Jean joins us on this Tuesday to break down last night's show and to talk about the latest headlines from the world of entertainment. Now, let's obviously talk about Dancing with the Stars. Big yes. premiere last night. And Lots happening. Lovely. It was good so and fun. bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got my Dancing with the Stars. That looks very good. <laughs> Thanks. It was so exciting. So my highlights are mm -hmm. Heinz Ward, wide, wide, wide receiver. Yes. His partner Kim. They were fabulous. He yes. has so much potential. And then playmate Kendra Wilkinson. Oh, yeah, she could shake that booty, couldn't she? She was bootylicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and she, she has so much personality. She's Absolutely. just going to really bring it. So I think fans are going to love her and we'll watch for her this season. Yeah. Karate Kid, Ralph Macho. That's oh, my favorite. Bravo. I called it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So watch you're him. early in on that. He's our Jennifer Gray of this season. Okay. So he's somebody who we haven't seen in a really long time. And we want to see more of him. And it doesn't he look exactly like the he did? The same way. Um, he just says that. The hair is a little first, bit. Yeah. <laughs> not so much. A little Donald Trump on the hair. But yeah. <laughs> he just says but something. He does like Daniel LaRusso. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Kirstie say. Alley. Yes. Now great this job. was a shocker. I don't think we expected a whole lot from Kirstie Alley. Mm -hmm. And she brought it. Yes, she did. She it came in second good. with the score. She did. Yeah. She's going to be fabulous. So it's going to be fun hey, to can watch. Can we talk about Wendy Williams? I know he wants Poor to. Wendy. I know. Wendy. Go ahead. Let's oh, I talk just, about I, Wendy. I, I find it odd she wasn't there in the little post wrap. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're like, like if we were dancing partners, I'd be like, she yeah. oh, Tessa yeah. just brought it. You I know. did. I mean, it I was, was scared. It was just guy. He was by himself. He's like, uh, I she don't didn't know. attend the press line. So her, she had some tears after her performance. Yeah, she was she very did. disappointed in herself. And she honestly, it was hard to watch. It was. So she wasn't light right. on her feet. No. She what you would think. So I mean. So. No, she wasn't, but let's hope that she stays around. Yeah. The uh, results is actually next Tuesday, so we're doing okay. it different this season, and mm -hmm. we'll have an extra week to see the stars dance again next week. Okay. Before Excellent. one so goes home. So if you had a pick, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, an elimination. Yeah, who would you think? Yeah. Wendy Williams. Not even the guy that finished last. Well, she finished next to last, right? The radio guy. You know, I think Wendy's going to stay, though, because she is a fan favorite as well. How you so, know it. Yeah, right, exactly. So and the radio <laughs> guy, who we can't remember his name, yeah, exactly. right? <laughs> Drew, Drew, Drew Pinsky's sidekick. He's a regular dude. He's a regular dude. <laughs> right. That's it. Yeah. Well, we'll have to watch and see next Tuesday. Great. All right. Yeah. Now, let's talk about, you know, and I, I'm sure you folks have probably seen these clips about Donald mm -hmm. Trump. He wants to yeah. make a run at the presidency. And uh, really? had some great comments. I am so excited about Donald Trump for president. Yeah. This really? is like 
Well, first of all, it's going to keep us busy with the late night talk show hosts. Absolutely. Like, come on, the comb over, the whole thing. Yeah. This is going to be <laughs> good fun for at least another year, yeah. hopefully nine. But, you know, I think he's I think he's going to be a fabulous candidate, mm -hmm. um, hopefully, if he runs. He's someone who sort of crosses partisan lines. Yeah. He's a liberal conservative. Yeah. He also is a household name here in America, so his name is known around the world. Mm -hmm. He's Donald Trump, real estate mogul, yeah. entertainment star. And lots of money I to think pay for his campaign. Exactly, mm -hmm. 600 so million. Says. So he well, he's talking about 600 million going into this campaign. So what I like wow. about that is he doesn't owe a whole lot of favors like some other politicians True. will. So You're that's right. something to yeah, look for. Yeah, but he doesn't yeah. pull punches. And I got to tell you, I don't know if I want him, you know, I don't know, dealing with these kind mm -hmm. of global issues that we've been dealing with lately. Yeah. We're going to have to watch and see. I yeah. really want to see how he does in some of the debates and right. just see what his views are on a number of topics. But I love that about him, that he's really confident and no-nonsense, and we'll see what happens. Maybe he's going to say, Obama, you're fired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute. That's what I'm But I love say. Obama, too, so we'll see. Does this, Let's watch now, this Now, would this open up a Pandora's box of people maybe thinking they can run for president just because they have mm -hmm. a lot of money? This has been happening for years. We had yeah. Reagan. He was an actor. True. We have okay. Arnold in California yeah. right now. This is, yeah. you know, not really anything new. And a number of business business people who we know from the business world and millionaires and billionaires have given it their shot too. So right, what about Charlie? Why not Donald Trump? Charlie Trump? Sheen. Throw Charlie really? Sheen's name into this. Isn't Win this crazy? And his campaign slogan: Winning. I know. Did, why didn't not? Didn't he just show up <laughs> on Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. Didn't he just sort of, you was know, Jimmy walk? Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Give him a big Apologies. kiss on and the lips. Yeah, and now there's I don't talk think I'd want to kiss him on the lips. I mean, where have <laughs> those, those, where lips, those lips been? I don't know, but you know, the guy just keeps going. He's got a tour mm -hmm. he's doing now. It's, it's sold, sold out. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. It goes. He's and his goddesses are joining shows. him now. Yeah. And he has these two women that his now goddesses. live with him. He calls them his goddesses. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And they've just sort of rocked up at his house and they live there now. So, Charlie Sheen, bless you, but. He yeah. really needs to get on the right track. Not he's winning. Certainly making for some right. good talk. He's but no okay. prince, Woo! but if he came to North Charleston Coliseum, do you think it would sell out, folks? Would Let anybody? us know what you think, please. Yeah. <laughs> Send on us Facebook, an email. Yeah. Just out of curiosity. Facebook. Tell Just us if you'd curiosity. go see Charlie Sheen in concert. I got a feeling I would. <laughs> the Thanks. train wreck. You mean you kind of have to watch it? Yeah. So we'll see. But I mean, it's not really a joking matter. So. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Penelope. Penelope. Thanks, guys. Talk to you then next week. <laughs> all right. Well, great food and an even better ambiance. When we return, we're joined by the folks from downtown Charleston's Then Do Amy. You don't want to miss this. Quite a tasty segment coming up.